Hello everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil. I am your host Rad Mott and today we are going to be going down that spooky spooky mine. I'm gonna, I've got out my uh, handgun again because I just in case I need it you know. So today we are going down the spooky lift that we saw a while ago. That's gonna be a good one, that is. Spooky. It's gonna be spooky. It's gonna be spooky. Oh! We're going down. So that's good. Why is it got a big old red brick though? Does it not work? No, it works. Cool. It's good to have an item box. You never know when you're going to need your item box. Right then. Huh. Garbage compactor. I wonder if I can compact garbage with it. Well, you'd hope so, given that's the name of the thing, usually. Usually names try to give an intuitive idea of what you're going to be doing with the object. What? Oh! Oh! Oh, it's you! I don't much like you! No! 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 I do not like this person. Oh, I've already got too much stuff. Oh, if only I could see on the map where... Where she was. Please, please, I have... I have a wife and kids or something. If she bursts through this door, I'm going to be so, so upset. I'm going to be seriously upset. I'm not sure everyone even knows how upset I would be if that was to occur. What's this? Wow, a lot of things. Magnum rounds? Are they all magnum rounds? No, there's a grenade. That's good. What else is here? Handgun mag. A zine. Mm, you know, not bad. Especially considering I had a lot of stuff. There's nothing else here, is there? Wow, I dealt with that like a boss. You know what I really don't like? That woman. That woman is a nasty woman. What a strange, strange woman is that. To be going around, chains on, and creepy powers, and just... Yes, please start up. I want to go on that too. I want to go on an exciting ride and be free from the evil, terrible demon that awaits me beyond this door. But unfortunately for me, life's not that nice. So unfortunately for me, I'm going to have to go and do something ridiculous and stupid, which in this case is running from an insane woman with tentacles. Do you have to be so close to me though? Please don't be so close to me. Oh, 
Where is she? Okay, that answers my question. You know, I don't think that we're gonna get along if you keep running at me and trying to punch me. I just don't know if that's the sign of a decent relationship, you know? Do you, I, do you get what I'm going with this? Oh god, this stresses me out so much. You know what's dark? This room. This room is so dark. This is a very dark room. Please don't open doors. If you open doors, I will get sad. Very, very sad. Please do not make me sad. Petition to make Rad not sad. Uh. Right, I've got more magnums. I'll put away the I'll put away the magazine, but not the other thing. I would have to be a total madman to even remotely suggest that the idea of doing something not clever was clever. And by not clever, I mean putting away all of my stuff. I need two things open so that I can get the. I need two things open so I can get those herbs. I've, su I've su found a surprisingly low amount of red herbs, but that's probably because red herbs are basically full healers. You know, you just mix them up with one of your handy dandy green herbs and biz boz bibbity boo, you've got a... You know, could you squish that faster? Because there's an insane woman with tentacles and handcuffs trying to kill me, and you know, it would be very useful if that was the kind of thing that you didn't do. Is that a flamethrower? It's a fl oh, it's a broken frame f it's a broken flamethrower. How pointless. Oh boy, just what I wanted. A broken thing. You know how many things I like that are broken? A very, very small amount. You'd be surprised. Don't know if I should just put away my... Now, I'll grab the herbs and come back. Because I'm going to need room. And lots of it. Because I'm making a huge assumption that there's going to be stuff. Speaking of stuff, this person exists. Hello there. I am afraid of you hitting me with your big, big chains and tentacles. Do you realize that it's rude? Like, it's rude to hit people with tentacles. It's also rude to hit people if they have tentacles too, which is why I'm not going to punch you. I'm also not going to punch you for the reason that you're absolutely terrifying. But you know how you could help? By donating just one magnum bullet a month to Rad Mots. You know, you know, why do you have to be here walking around punching me? It just seems rude. What's this? You know, you know, if you weren't here, I would be able to just go about my business. I could take my flamethrower. I could fix it. I could I could get my I could get all my lovely herbs together in the right boxes. But no, you have to be following me around and I have to play Ring a Ring a Rosie just so I can move about to the right place. And you know why I have to do this? Because you're following me all the time. And let me tell you something. That is a rude thing to do. Following people is rude. Never do it, kids. Following people is rude. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. This is even more beautiful. That's what I like to see. Look at all of those. Eight healer, eight, eight full healing items. I'm in the money. 
I'm in the money. La da 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 da. Oh no, copyright police. No, my worst nightmare. Copyright police. Actually, copyright police are pretty low on my list of nightmares, considering that I've got a creepy monster following behind me, trying to punch me. Hopefully that's it, unless she decides to burst through the door, because that would be very rude. Please don't do that. Please. You know, out of all the things you could do today, please try and spare some time to not do that. Old beat-up dolls and used cameras. You know what's really scary? This. This exact thing is scary. Can I not have to do things like this? Considering that it's awful! You know, you know, snakes are generally not the kind of thing I want to be meeting in the morning. Especially when I have to run through this nasty, smelly water. Y you know, snakes... I do like snakes as much as the next human. A jewellery box. Should I really take this? Oh, what the hell, I'll take it. Oh, it just opens. What's this, then? A stone ring. Family picture and notes. Something written on the back. Okay. 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 What? What? Attach her face. Okay. Mom's sad when I meet her without her face. There's still stuff here. The bed is still warm. That's weird. Beds aren't good. Especially when they're being used by strange and mysterious nasty creatures. most confusing of all is that I got a weird ring. Am I going to give it to Stone Sonic so that he can do whatever he does with rings? Can't see Mom because four stones. Oh, I hate this game to an amazing degree. Wow. I hate ladders as well, it seems. And we're back in the cabin. Oh, family picture. I guess I should have got that first. Yeah, it does, it does. Where? I miss you. If I had an ink ribbon, I could save. What kind of person thinks like that, though? Like, of all the things to think, if I had an ink ribbon, I could save my progress. Why is there a stone ring? I want to know! Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay. I thought the metal object was already there, but it's not. Now we've got a full metal object. Wait a second, that's not right. We've got a full metal object. Alright, we can go 
get the other one. Let's hurry away as far as we can. Because I hate this place. Have I mentioned I hate this place? You know what else I should mention? I hate everything. I hate this game. I hate the setting. It's a stupid setting. I hate the fact that there's an aqua ring. What kind of person has an aqua ring under their house anyway? Obviously a weirdo. You know what? I don't have time for you. I'm going to run past you and you're not going to do a damn thing about it. Now you see, Bobby? See the difference between you and me? Is you're still stuck in the past thinking that you can just grab people from behind and say, Oh, guess who? But everyone knows it's you, Bobby. Everyone knows it's you. There's not a single person that I've spoken to! <gasps> Are you missing legs? You look like you're missing legs. I'm confused. Why are there so many now? This doesn't make any sense at all. Well, luckily I don't have to come back here, so I'm gonna run. So, in the last part, what did we find? We found that there was Enrico, the leader of Bravo team, was killed by a double-crossing member of STARS. Oh, is this the same one from before? Yeah. I also fixed that door so you could get away. That was supposed to be Wesker, by the way. Did you notice how bad it was? You know, gap don't we're gonna need both of these. Mm, back in the mansion for what will probably be the last time. Because we're about to make a move. Um, actually this is a decent setup for now. We've got to go to that part of the mansion that I've neglected to show everyone for the sake that it is really scary and I hate it and I would normally have gone down here but I hate it. That's what I like about this game, you keep going back to the mansion and you keep unlocking the places that you didn't think you could get to. It's great. It's, it's, it's a good game. I like it. Yeah, I climbed those stairs. And as you can see down here, there is a spooky thing. Stairs on the side. So let's examine the spooky thing. Did I already go here? Suddenly I feel like I've already gone here. Two emblems fit neatly into the door. And with that, I think it's now impossible for us to go back to the um, residence and courtyard, I think, because we can no longer make it through the mansion, make it through that door in the mansion. Oh wait, could we get, no, no, that's also outside. Uh, what's this then? Oh, an old typewriter. Perfect. Perfect for people who don't have things. Um, what do I need to survive? Oh yeah, I know what I need to survive. I need a first aid spray. 
That's perfect for surviving, am I right? Come on, back me up here. I've got to be right. You know what I hate? Really long, dark, weird rooms like this one. Because you don't know where you stand with it. It's like big, and it's long, and it's dark, and what's the point? What's the point other than spooking the pooper dupe out of you? Alright, so we read the thing from before that said that they can't see mommy because all stone. Wait, there's stuff here. Where is it? Where's the stuff? Where's the stuff? I want the stuff. Come on, you can't hide stuff from me. Oh, come on, please. Please give me the stuff. I need it. I need the stuff. I need the stuff. Give me your stuff. I need it. I need it to survive. Oh, I might actually need it to survive. Please give me the stuff. Please. 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 Come on. This is going to be another one of those instances where there was never a stuff all along and the stuff was inside me. And that was the, the you know, you know in those, you know in a cheesy story where it's like, oh, you, you had the power. Okay. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. Awesome, it's Wesker. And he's fighting this thing. Well, let's start pushing the four stones that she can't meet her mom because of. You know, if you didn't run, that would be very, very likely to please us both. Look, look, I'm trying to help you out here. Don't punch me. I'm trying to help you out. No, don't make those noises. You know I'm trying to help you out. Come on, Chris, use that spray. Thank you, Chris. Okay, okay, one more, and you can see your mom. Okay, there we go. One more, you can see your mom. See, it's your mom. You know what that means, right? Yeah, it means you can please stop attacking me. <laughs> That's kind of funny. She's just like, what? I'll investigate this area a little further. Sure thing, Wesker. Wesker's got this place hurry. I mean, Wesker's got this place covered. Better just hurry on ahead. There's stuff here, though. I'm not going until I find the stuff. I don't care if it takes me all week. I don't care if it takes me all day. That was lower. It was a lower amount of time, Rad Mark. He failed again to be sensible. What's the thing I need? Oh, yes, indeed. Wait, there's something up. No, family picture. It's a letter to my Lisa. Day by day, I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by the men in white clothes made some of the mum's itching go away. Instead, it was another shot in nutrition. Mommy, which is mommy, unable to think of me, but I think mommy's afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy, what we face it look like, how they used to be together. It all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that I can hold on to our wonderful memories of you and daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer, we have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa, I'm not. Chance to escape is the next time when we go to that lab together. We'll both pretend that we're both unconscious and when the man not closes up guard, that will be our chance. When we're on the outside, let's look for daddy together. Okay, sweetie, be strong, Lisa. That's so sad. That's really sad. I'm just going to grab an ink ribbon and also a save. Because I think I'm going to need it. is about all we have time for right now. And I will see you in the next part.
After I save, that is not the save point, Radmort. Thank you for clarifying that, Radmort. That was big help. Running out of saves. <laughs> Always running out of saves. There's no saves anywhere. I need another save. Okay. Until next time, faithful viewers, where we will, um, you know, take Wesker's advice and go to that next area or whatever. Bye!